Tuesday night and I got a glass of wine and a quilt. And I've been having some tension issues, so we're gonna troubleshoot. But we're gonna move the wine first. So, where did you go? You were there, but then I used you and I moved you. Are you here now? You're not there. Are you back here? It's a new needle, or it was. It was supposed to be a real good needle, to be honest. But, let's go through all the steps. The screwdriver's too big. But look at me, I used it anyway. So, replace the needle. The, the One of the suggestions about what could be going wrong is that because I'm free motion quilting, I'm making the, the machine stitch in directions that it doesn't really like. And so it could just be that my machine doesn't want to stitch in a certain direction. And when it does, I'm more likely to get um, skipped stitches, which is what's been happening. So look, buddies, what are you doing? This thing is like a gum wrapper. Come on. I was playing video games with my friends and um, I was doing all right, man. I was on a bloodlust with a machete and it was fantastic. So this needle, I don't really want to get rid of it. We'll just stick it up there. That's a magnet. I think it's a good place. And it's what's not going to happen is it's not going to just fall down and get in my way while I'm quilting. That's right out. So this, I think, goes in this way. Um, you go this way? Yeah. With the flat bit to the back, or to the side. And how do I remember that? Because it feeds from this way, which is like most machines, it feeds from round part to flat part. So next I'm going to take the thread and pull it through. Oh, that's sloppy. Whatever. It's fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. And we're going to re-thread. This is every time you have a tension issue. Re-thread your machine. Replace the needle. Maybe not the needle every time. Oh, it comes through there, then it goes through there, and then stop it, stop it, then it goes through there, and then no, then up through here, and down like that, and there, and there. Oh, you hear that? That's the noise that says, Maria, you were supposed to take the trash out. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna double check our threading. make sure it comes up around through that through that through that got it right probably should leave this out because I'm gonna use it in a minute to look at the bobbin and maybe wind another bobbin um then thread the needle Is that supposed to be like that? And then underneath the foot, threaded. Boom. Okay. Take out the bobbin.
make sure that we're threading this through the bobbin correctly. Okay, so it shows, there's the picture, shows it like this, and the thread comes just like this. Wait, is that right? Like that. Yeah, I'll be honest. That bobbin feels a little loose. Usually you're supposed to be able to hold it and it shouldn't drop that quickly. We tighten it a little. It was just here. Girl, where did you put it? How? How, Maria? It's possibly a sign that we shouldn't be doing this. If you believe in such things. In my lap. I'm gonna watch this footage later and we're all gonna have a good laugh at me not being able to find where you guys are probably screaming it's there it's there oh it didn't so I'm gonna tighten this a tiny bit kind of loose. Okay, so doesn't drop too tight. This feels better. Too loose. See that? Mm hmm. Yeah, I think that's good. Cut this thread. Am I going to need another bobbin of this? Probably. Get the fluff out. Get the fluff out of here. I read once that through assemblies like this, just only ever pull the thread the way it's supposed to come out and not the other way. Pull it the way that the machine would pull it. Okay, so back here. We're looking at you, you like that. Good. Bottom it back in. Put these fluffers in there. Man, the amount of like mystery and myth surrounding sewing machines and like the lies that sewing machine manufacturers tell just drive me nuts. Like people, t like they will tell people, oh no, you got to use 100% cotton thread. That polyester will just be too much fluff. And like, no, there's like, no, polyester is an extruded material. It's not going to fluff. Cotton, cotton will fluff. Now we got to move this out of the way, so... Pull up our bobbin thread. I like to I like to do this even though I don't have to. Okay. Okay. Now the 
sample project here. Let's stitch on it a little bit. What do you think of that plan? see how our tension looks. Top tension got weird. I did some, I accidentally turned it and okay, so lightest stitch length. feel like that bobbin might be too tight. So I don't actually see the bobbin thread on the top. And I don't think I see the top thread on the bobbin side. I'm gonna argue, this is looking pretty good. So. We are 12 minutes into sewing video and about to start sewing. I reached this point right here the other night and my thread broke and I was like, done. Okay. We're done with this. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for stopping by. So I'm going to restitch some of this stuff I already stitched. And we are going to pull up our bobbin thread. Put it back where it was. I'm going to just out my ruler, go to this point, cut my threads, and then I think I kind of wanted my ruler going to. here. This is the way that I think I had problems, this direction. So we'll see what happens and we'll see, does it do it in this direction? Maybe. I'm doing a different thing. I'm yeah, yep, it did it. It did it. Okay, so we'll see. Does it do it in this direction? No. So I think it doesn't like it when I go that way. And what that means is I should probably try turning it when I have to go that way which I can do. Um, so we'll see. Then I'm claiming that this direction will maybe also be slightly difficult, but not horrible. Okay, so it I don't like moving it in this direction. My hands don't know what to do. I think it's because like I want to push hard to keep the ruler in place. But 
because you can't push too hard. You gotta get the perfect balance of like speed. Of foot and speed of hands. So we're gonna look here and see how it likes going in this direction. I think it also doesn't like this. That one was actually okay. Maybe it's just, maybe it's just that direction. We'll see. So then I'm predicting that this isn't gonna be so good. I'm doing bad things right there, guys. So then maybe see how this goes. I'm reaching. Oh, I didn't mean to go this far. Well. Too, too late now. So I was trying something different so that I didn't have the whole thing under here. So we think this direction should be t tough if we believe that this is the problem. I have to figure out the point over here and mark it. So this is like, why did I choose this pattern? And like I chose it based on a thing and then it turns out like it was a tough thing to do. Like, or maybe, maybe if I do this, I can mark it. <laughs> so, Claim it's like here, and I travel from this point to here, right there. And I'm putting a little white dot, which you probably can't see, and I can see only slightly better. And we could try this, it's already turned, so we want that to go. Like that. Mm -hmm. Nope, that 
angles wrong. Oh god, I made a wrong turn and I should have gone left at Albuquerque. Okay, going over here now. And back to here. I get part way, I can kind of go, oh, I think I'm not on track. Okay, I'm gonna come over here and mark this dot. Oh god, the needle. Remember when I said and the needle would be fine right there? It was until I got my hair stuck in it. Ugh. Next stream, we cut off our hair. Okay, big white dot. There's a little white dot on the quilt today. the quilt moved I hope you saw that I did not move it and yet bad things that I did not want to happen had uh, went ahead and happened okay that's that we're gonna go like this What we do is we take a stitch and now we should be able to pull the bobbin thread up with one of these. That didn't work. I don't know how that didn't work. I think what needs to happen now is I stop recording and I turn on my audiobook. And I'll just make everything better, or at least everything different. So we're gonna cut those threads, that's fine. And cut the bobbin thread. Oh, you know what, I bet you it got caught on some other thread down there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We got some specialness happening under here. God help us. What are you doing? Who are you and what are you doing? So it's quilting fun time. 